Oh, this video is brought to you by newcubio.com. Newcubio.com, that's our QBO blog. We have great articles and uh, uh, free video tutorials to help you. So you want to check it out. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to enter third-party payroll transactions manually in QuickBooks Online. Let's say uh, you're using like ADP or Paycheck Payroll Services type, and it's in your uh, statement and how to enter that in QuickBooks. That's the focus of this video. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online now. First, first uh, I want to start with the uh, how to set up chart of account to handle payroll expenses. Chart of account. I'm going to go to put payroll uh, chart of accounts in here. Okay, the expenses wise, I have, uh, so these are the uh, uh, payroll expenses in here. The payroll expense, uh, this is the parent account and underneath I have a sub account to enter transactions in here. So that if it's a parent account, you don't in, you don't enter anything in here. You basically uh, create sub accounts, uh, and uh, this is where you enter uh, uh, transactions. And uh, if you don't want to uh, create sub accounts, then you just have to uh, use the payroll expense as one account, and uh, this is where you enter your uh, expenses. But uh, at some point. Uh, you will need the breakdown of how much you spend on this, that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's 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 a, uh, I think it's uh, uh, helpful if you have started out with the uh, sub accounts in here. That way, if somebody wants to ask you how much uh, money you spent on uh, uh, social security for the employees or unemployment, then you just have to go to this account, run report, and get the numbers. Okay, so I, I'm going to start with the payroll expense. I'm going to show you how this one is set up. As I said, this one is a uh, uh, parent account, uh, you know, and you don't enter any transaction in here. You just the uh, this is like a, a heading type, you know. So expenses and detail type is your payroll expenses from your detail type. Okay, uh, and uh, the next one, let's say payroll unemployment. Let's see if this one works. All right, I have to refresh this. Yeah, okay, let's see if this works this time. All right, I'm just gonna add it in here. So here we go. This time it worked. Okay, so expenses, type expenses, and a detail type. You select the same one, same one, and you just change the name, you know, gross wages or whatever uh, you, you, you want to name it. And then you select the is sub account box and then, let, then select the uh, payroll expenses as your parent account. Okay, and, and save and close. So I've done all those for all these accounts. Fair unemployment, gross wages, Medicare, Social Security, and state tax. Okay, since you're doing a, a third party payroll, they're handling your payroll, they will charge a processing fee, of course. So, I'm going to show you how this one works. Rx account type is still expenses, and a detailed type is not that important, but I just selected administrative expenses, you know. All right, this is basically your office administrative expense type and then change the uh, uh, name, payroll processing fee, you know. Uh, uh, some people basically they use as part of payroll expense underneath, that's fine too. So I have, a, you know, the separate account. Okay, and once that's done, then you need, of course, the uh, bank account. All right, here's my bank account in here. In this case, I have opened a separate uh, bank account to uh, pay for the payroll, you know, and I, I want to make sure I have enough money sitting in, in my account uh, to pay for this payroll. Uh, so, you know what, bounce of your payroll checks, uh, that would be terrible. Okay, so uh, if you don't want to do that, you know, you can just use the checking account, that's fine too. So this one, let's see here. All right, so account type is banking, bank, and checking, you know, 
and change the name in here this is a this is the account you use for the uh, uh, payroll okay and when the time comes in you basically transfer money from here to uh, the checking payroll account okay and now uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, write uh, distribution of payroll expenses okay you get the uh, statement from your uh, ADP or paycheck uh, they will send you you know a statement it will give you a breakdown how much for uh, gross wages and uh, you know all the breakdown in here okay so the first thing I want to do is since this is going to be like a recurring type you know you pay payroll taxes payroll uh, run payroll like a um, on a regular basis and uh, so I want to set up a recurring type you know that way you don't have to type or remember what account you should go to all these accounts so I'm going to set up recording type and you go to gear icon and you have right here recording transactions in here recording transactions okay so uh, I'm just going to click this so you may not have this if you have like a lower plan like simple start then it won't work basically you just have to write uh, uh, expense uh, every month okay so right here so I have a uh, uh, couple of templates set up in here so the first one is uh, you know uh, day pay taxes you know this you know you just want to use you know uh, they you know uh, they, they handle everything so all we have to do is I'm gonna show you how this one is set up okay so let's call this uh, ADP payroll you can name any way you want it and make sure this is unscheduled unscheduled because you're not scheduling uh, you don't know when uh, you're ready to enter this uh, uh, payroll distribution okay and it pays of course ADP or vendor it's a vendor and account it comes out from the checking uh, payroll account okay and then uh, the payment method could do you could just directly uh, uh, take out money from uh, your account all right so there's a distribution you know gross wages is this month social security this month unemployment this month Medicare is this month state tax is this month processing fees this month and and they take out uh, nine thousand nine hundred ninety six eighteen cents from your payroll account uh, let's say this one is uh, uh, well, 10 people uh, uh, in 10, 10 people of payroll you know 10 employees okay uh, so now when the time comes in when, when you're ready to uh, schedule this all you have to do is uh, uh, make a copy of this make a duplicate of this you know duplicate this and uh, then you want to make this uh, make this uh, schedule you know okay so you want to let's say you want to do this on uh, on let's say 27th 27 you know and the start date is also 27 and n is none basically it's, this is just one time okay so it's just, you just save this uh, and then it will uh, enter uh, post this to your uh, payroll um, expense accounts you know you'll you see it in uh, QuickBooks so I've already done one in here I don't want to do a duplicate in here okay all right so I've already done one in here and uh, it already posted so all you all have to do is once you create a template and then use it and uh, uh, you know it will post to your QuickBooks okay so this is the expense type expense type you know uh, and uh, the schedule you know date in here and amount right here right of course the amount is going to be uh, different you know every payroll uh, so you have to edit you know it's basically you have to edit the amount to match with your total payment you know all these amounts you just change it and sometimes it could be zero on something you know uh, so the, the total this number should match with the 
how much money uh, they're taking out from your payroll okay so I'm gonna show you now once you post it this is the expense type you know expense type so just go to plus and here's the expense expense type this is the uh, manual entry expense and uh, if you see you now this is a recent transaction the expense in here so here's the expense one okay and uh, uh, in case you are writing journal you know journal entry uh, I'm using expense form but uh, you can see the transaction journal in here so this underneath more in here and transaction journal it will tell you uh, what's happening with this entry okay here we go so the checking payroll is 919 this is the amount they will take out from your uh, payroll account and there's a distribution so debit is expense and credit is uh, amount taking out from your uh, uh, payroll uh, uh, bank account right here okay uh, let me refresh this okay so now uh, so this one is uh, this one is done so this is how you need to do it and uh, if you are bank connected you should see a match you know you should see a match in here you don't need to add anything you just match it so I'm gonna go to banking so here's the match in here you just have to you should see because this is the amount uh, you just uh, enter transaction you know so just match it and then done okay and uh, the next one is let's say uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are they you know they're handling uh, payroll but you're paying taxes you know I'm gonna show you this one do you pay taxes all right so you should do the same thing I'm gonna show you this one first okay so this is still on schedule okay so the distribution payroll distribution is going to be the, you know probably the same maybe processing fees lower because it's not a full service and the payroll tax is going to be negative you know this is your liability account I'm going to show you how this one is set up too so you pay payroll taxes when the time comes in you know payroll taxes so I'm going to show you how this one is set up so this is to set up your liabilities uh, if it's full service you don't need to do that if it is uh, not then you, if you want to pay your pay payroll taxes uh, on your own then you need to set up liabilities in here so other current liabilities in here but I think it's you know let them handle uh, all the payroll stuff you don't need to go through this and uh, uh, pay taxes payroll taxes you know one less hassle you know okay and payroll tax payable like this I think it's worth uh, let them handle this like this now you'll see it in here type is other current liabilities you know okay and uh, so in here uh, see here so it's a, this is the amount for the uh, taxes taken out from your uh, uh, from the payroll run so this, this is both uh, employer and employee portion of course the amount you pay to your uh, ADP is going to be lower and it's just the one all right so uh, I'm just gonna you know when the time comes in you just do the same thing just create a duplicate in here and go from there and when it's time to pay uh, the uh, liabilities you just go in here and let's see in here was the amount in here let's just say all right so let's say it will it, be to a couple of uh, states gonna be different so you have you will be paying a few times uh, so 27 97 96 okay so you just go in here and write a check or expense you know whatever it is you know so it's the uh, so you select the vendor it'd be like us your wherever you're gonna pay this and then the car the category is uh, your liabilities account here we go payroll taxes payable 
and you just enter the amount in here so you just enter the amount and then if you are uh, uh, doing bank fit same thing is just to see a match in here like when the time comes in so don't try to add it you don't want to add it because uh, it will create duplicate transactions once it's download you will see a match in here because in this case I haven't done the payment yet you know once you do the payment you should see a match in here okay so that's the focus of this video hopefully this is helpful to you uh, you can uh, visit our website and uh, you can check out uh, all, all our free video tutorials and if this video is helpful you can subscribe to our YouTube channels we have two channels here youtube.com for us slash BP controller youtube.com for us slash quickflex QBO that's the one you're watching thank you again we have a great day